Hi, I'm Kevin Koreski with Tri-Tip TV, and to my left is my co-host, Juliano Terrell, professional triathlete. Tonight, we're going to talk about the race that's going on over Clearwater over there in, what, on, I believe it's November 15th, mm -hmm. 70.3 World Championship. Got a nice, nice, uh, nice. Uh, yeah. a nice race. Uh, many, many names. It's, uh, this is going to be a nice, pick, uh, I mean, a hard pick. What, uh, what do you know about the course? I hear it's, once again, it's Florida and it's flat. Uh, that's really, uh, as I, I just know as much as you know, it's just flat like a pancake. Hot, cold, humid? Uh, hot dry. and humid, yeah. Hot and humid? Yeah. Potentially windy? Um, not sure about that. This is one of those races where this really would not suit anybody going out for the hills. If you're a strong hill cyclist, this is not your race. This is flat, fast, time trial, 56 miles. It just balls out. Uh, uh, for and it. let me add one little thing to it. Uh, uh, being, Having that sad, it makes that much more competitive, I think. You really think it makes that I, I think it makes more competitive. A lot of people can just hang on on the bike, and it's going to be a, a real close race, I think. Hopefully drafting won't be an issue. I know they had a little bit of an issue with drafting out there in Hawaii this year, and there was a lot of penalties being tossed out, and a lot so, of bickering on people's um, yeah. blogs and stuff like that. So. Mm -hmm. Remember, if they do give out the penalties, and you can't be disqualified for too many drafting penalties on 56 on this type of course where it's flat and fast, there's going to be packs and bunches, and just keep your eyes and ears open if you're uh, stuck in the wheel too close to somebody in front of you. Anyways. Who are, who are, we're we're going to start with the women or the, or the male here? Yeah. Well, I think we should give it to the ladies first. Always the ladies. Okay. Gotta be a gentleman. Why don't you go ahead? We're going to go and discuss our top eight picks. Now, we're not going to tell you who we think is going to win the race. We're just going to give you an idea of who we think is going to come in the top ten. Juliana, why don't you start off with your ladies? I'll start with my top uh, eight women here. Carla Moreno, Brazilian girl. It's, I'm from Brazil, but I'm not. Just saying. She has been in ITU races. She's very strong. So, Carla Moreno, Laura Bannett, which everybody knows the name. Uh, Jordy Swallow. Julie Dips, Anina Kraft, Leanda Cave, Sarah Kraft, and uh, Joanna Zeiger. That's a pretty good list you got there. I got a little bit of a different list. A couple people are the same here, but uh, I'm going to go with uh, Pip Taylor. She's had a solid year. She won by man. Julie Dibbins, she's got to be in there. She just won the Xterra World Championship out in Maui a couple weeks ago. Joanna Zeiger, she just threw down a pretty good race, and she's solid, and she's won this thing a couple times. She knows what it takes. 70.3 is her thing. She retired from Ironman after doing Arizona last year. Um, Jody Swallows, Swallow, she just uh, she just won the ITU Long Course uh, World Championship there in Perth. you got to put her on the list now because okay. she's obviously a threat. Jody Swallow. Uh, you got uh, Catrone um, Morrison. I take Mary Beth Ellis, another ITU girl. Sarah Groff, another ITU girl. Speed okay. fast and... Uh, and then we got uh, Magali Cadice. You got she, 10, right? You got 10? I got 8. Oh, eight. There's okay. 8 there. Um, I'm picking Magali. Magali had a really solid year all the way around mm -hmm. as, uh, to, to, to round my top 8 off. And uh, let's talk about some of the boys coming out there. This is a pretty big field, pretty mm -hmm. solid, pretty fast. Do you want to start? Or are you. Go ahead. No, after you. You're going to pick a Brazilian to start off with. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'll start with Fabio then. From oh, Brazil. No, he's actually from uh, Brazil. No, Fabio is, is... Oh, Oscar, Oscar, sorry. What are you talking Oscar, about? Oscar, Oscar from Arctic Tips, sorry. <laughs> Fabio Carvalho, uh, Brazilian guy. He was he raced in L.A. here. He's done Ironman before. Uh, solid guy. He was fifth in, in L.A. He's very strong. So that's one of my picks. Oscar Galindez, we know the name. He's won that before. Uh, Rick Bennett, cannot, I can never count him out. Uh, Reynaldo Colucci, for the ones that watched Hawaii... You've heard his name. He's also from Brazil. Uh, Joel Bramble. I know you like the guy. Very strong guy. Philip Graves. I know people don't... He's, he likes to talk. But uh, he's very strong. Ter Terenzo Bozzone. And uh, Richie Cunningham. A solid list. Very solid list. I'm going to go with... Uh, you're right. Joe Gambles. Who I've dubbed as Mr. 70.3. He's had a very solid year. Mm -hmm. Came up... He had some solid, solid wins. Um, Luke Bell didn't race. He didn't uh, put his heart and soul in the Ironman this year. He went out and did, had his race, had his day out there in Canada for the long distance stuff. So he held out. He really, really focused all his his energy towards this this race coming into this year. 
did not do Kona. Tim O'Donnell, yeah, yeah. Can't, can't take sure. away from him. Sure. He just won it out there in uh, Perth, IT Long Course World Champion. I only had so many names to pick. Richie Cunningham, very good at 70.3, very fast, strong. I know, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I know, I know, you can't win them all, but if Terenzo Bazzone spent a lot of time training this year, put a lot of quality workouts in him. He uh, did a lot of training camps with uh, Chris McCormick out there in Toronto as they prepared for the big race. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and I'm going to go with uh, your boy from South America, Ronaldo Colucci. I'm going to put him in there. He's obviously a very stellar athlete. Mm -hmm. Had a very good race. I got a chance to meet him at Wildflower. Um, Luke McKenzie, another guy that I think can uh, have a very good race out there in Clearwater. I know he's shifted more of his focus towards his long course Ironman racing. He won two Ironmans last year. Did not as well as he'd like to have in Kona, but I think he had a very good race. Came in the top 20. And then there's Matt Reed. Oh, I forgot about that. Big Matt, Matt Reed, man, you can't count out the big boy. Seriously, I actually didn't even see his name on the list. Matty yes. Reed is, uh, had a few... Who am I going to switch him with? Okay, I'll take <laughs> Philip Graves out and I'll put Matt Reed in. <laughs> I think you got to put a Matty Reed. He's always... No, I definitely have. No, I, I didn't see his name, actually. If Sorry, Phil Graves, Phil Graves is a good pick. I mean, you know he's going to go out there and hammer on the bike. It's flat, it's fast, but... Uh, it's still a know, long day. You know, yeah. you, you, we'll see. A young kid like Phil is, uh, you know... He's going to be in there talking, the he's going to talk the talk, and, talk and uh, talk about how great he is on the bike and everything like that, but you know what, you can't win on the bike. But these right? guys, the young guys, they go out and, and they give it all, you know, and sometimes they, they I mean, they end up uh, not dying, like, like most of the time. Well, I'm going to tell you what, I, like I said when we started this, we're not going to talk about who we think is going to win. Mm -hmm. Well, that's our top eight, yeah. This thing. But uh, one thing I want to talk about is I, I when I was in Kona, I met this gentleman by the name of Scott Rigsby. Do you know the Scott Rigsby story? I don't know. No. Scott Rigsby wrote a book. Oh, it's I do know him. Yes. Scott was the first double amputee to finish Kona. What, what year was that? I, two years ago. Maybe. It was two years ago. Yeah, correct. He's an amazing story. I'm in a, a guy, he's, he sent me this book. He autographed it and sent it to me to read, and it is a good read. He uh, lost his legs in a tragic accident where uh, it left him with, uh, the, you know, one leg was taken off during the accident and he had to have the other one removed due to um, complications. And uh, if you get a chance to read a good book, this is a very mm -hmm. good book, it's a very good story, he's very inspirational, very motivating, and if you ever get a chance to meet Scott, he goes out to a lot of races, lives down there in Georgia, and uh, Scott, sure. here's your book, great read, and uh, everybody out there in Clearwater, we're going to come back, we're going to revisit this, and we will reveal who we think is going to win next week.